talking about it. Hey, how you doing? Let me tell you something. They know this is coming. They've lost control. They are too. <laughs> Bernie and Sid in the morning. This is the big story. Talk Radio 77 WABC. So every day from noon to three, Curtis Slee and Julian Huddy do a tremendous job. Curtis has been doing a tremendous job for a long time. In fact, when the new owner introduced himself and his board of directors and his kids, very nice children, by the way, good-looking kids, to all of us yesterday, he really only made mention of one host at this station. And it wasn't me or Bernard. John loves Curtis. And Curtis and Juliet will have Mr. Katz and Mercedes on at 2.30 this afternoon. That's your boy, Curtis. Well... I've known him and his wife, Margot, over 20 years in their family. They're on the board of directors of the Guardian Angels. Wow. But you remember, I'm joining you at MCU Park the 24th. Right. I'm playing right Starting field. Starting in right field, yes. And I'll be right out <laughs> if, if I make an error or I don't get a hit. But the last time we were at MCU Park, I was there with Sid to throw out the first ball. And my son, Gabriel. Right. And John Franco. From the Mets. Remember how sick I was. I, I, my oh, yes. son thought you were going to die there. Yes. yes. Oh, it was horrible. I collapsed after I threw the ball. They put me on the trainer's table. I couldn't move from Crohn's disease. Forget about the trainer's table. There was one point where Nancy, she wasn't your wife yet at that time. Now you're married. Yeah. She laid you out in the seats yes. in the stadium. I looked out the, the window from the suite, Bernie, and Curtis is laid out on the seats and he was pale as a ghost, and I really, really was nervous. It, it was, you were going to die. It was during that period. That one day, he was scheduled to go on the air at noon, and he stayed in his office. Didn't come out of his office. Yeah. That's how worried we were yep. about you. you were, I had gone down 140 pounds, yeah. and uh, I was fading fast. And it was Margot Katsimatidis who didn't uh, BS me. She said, we got to get you in a Columbia Presbyterian. We got to get you to the best specialist. I'm going to ask my husband to move mountains. Because, you know, those specialists, yeah, I'll see you in six months. Right. I would have been dead. Right. And Margot intervened. John intervened. And as you know, I had that major operation, yep. which reconnected all the plumbing. They were talking to me about comfort care, which, you know, means Calvary and hospice. Right, yeah, yeah. That's how bad and, it was. And, and, uh, what a comeback. What a rebound you have made. I mean, you look great. You really do. Well, thank you. And you're killing it uh, on the air, et cetera. You're, just, you're 65 years old, I think. You 65 look, years you old. You look like you're 45. I well, that's because I've married a millennial hipster. What, are you sucking up to him because he's I, the new owner? I've said that many, many times. And plus, I've yeah. always professed my love for Curtis nah, Lee. But, you know, i got to keep up with Nancy. You know, right. the right. millennials right. and hipsters. And right. the nine cats. we got the nine rescue cats. <laughs> but, but not Melinda cats. That is correct. <laughs> a lot of cats going around here. A lot of cats. What happened there? As you know, uh, Melinda Katz and I, uh, we shared a home for many years, and I've had my two youngest sons with her, who's Carter uh, and Hunter. In vitro fertilizer. Some weird, well, let's forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's no, just no, move on. Uh, I made the donation in the Petri dish. Right, right okay. Right. But the point is, is that the three of us can resolve this issue of the all-out crazies led by AOC, who now has her number one sister in solidarity, Caban, on the verge of becoming the Queen's DA. A legal aid lawyer. The three of us can resolve this, and I'll explain to you how. Because they're talking about, okay, what are we going to do to stop Kavan? Melinda cannot win in the recount. It just, it, I remember, I used to head a party, the Reform Party. I know what the paper ballot process is. It is technically impossible. She is going to lose. Kavan is going to be declared the Democratic primary winner. Then the only hope is that the Republicans... The conservatives join together and issue a Wilson Pakula, of which I issued many, which gives someone an opportunity now to run on their line. Now, will it be Melinda Katz, who finished second barely, or your guy, Lysak, who is like right out of central casting as a prosecutor? Perfect. He got killed, though. But no. He got 14%. No. Well, let me explain the analytics. Okay. The likelihood is that Melinda Katz is not going to want to attack fellow Democrats who are going to jump on the bandwagon for Kaban. I agree. She spent too much capital right. 30 years. Right. They'll probably offer her a judgeship, I think. I don't know that. But they'll probably offer her a judgeship. She's only borough president for another year. But Lasak, he ran as a prosecutor. Everyone else ran as a public defender. So you have to talk to your people who honored He's you. He's pointing at Sid. Are right you talking about Eric Ulrich? Eric Ulrich, and uh, John Borelli, and, and the Haggerty brothers, right. 
you got to talk to them who okay. control this process because look how dysfunctional they've been. By the way, I can also talk to folks in Howard Beach yes. that will remain nameless yes. who have more power than any of these. There's no doubt. <laughs> and you know those, and those are my enemies. But, but, but now, there we, is a Republican candidate already. Really? Right. His name is Daniel Kogan. Right. Did you see on the website? <laughs> there's a silhouette of this I, guy. I, and as a matter of fact, when the New York Post asked him what his platform was, he laughed. You know what he is? <laughs> He's a placeholder. Yes, I know that. So the Republicans, the ones you support, I support the rebels who want to take over the, right, uh, right. the Queens County Republican uh, machine. But your guys okay. have a placeholder. They assume the cats would win. Then they'd make a deal not to run a campaign. Colgan would just be on the ballot. Katz would win. And they would get some of the surrogacy and the probate action for lawyers. Colgan being a lawyer and others. They put their beak in the trough. Because that's where all the money is in politics. Surrogacy and probate battles right. in court when people don't fill out wills. No, nobody knows the swamp better than Sliwa. So oh, you, absolutely. So I set this up at Aldo's Pizzeria. Wherever you want. Okay. And, but we all have to bring our cadre. Now, you bring... The Queens County dysfunctional folks who can't seem to get it straight here. Okay. I'll bring all the rebels, but you're the most important guy, Bernard McGurk. Okay. Because this election cannot be won against Caban and the AOC all out crazies without the old Joe Crowley crooked Democratic machine. Now, they say Congressman Meeks, but you know it's still Joe Crowley who pulls mm -hmm. the strings. Oh, yeah. All the top guys who are the shot callers in Queens County is the Irish Mafia. I saved one of their guys' lives just before. Remember the Imus golf tournament in Jersey? Sure, sure of course. I said to Melinda at the time, I got to go hit some balls. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so inept out there, I'm going to want to kill people. <laughs> so we went to the driving range right by Alley Pond Park, which is between Little Neck Douglas and Bayside. Sure. And Melinda's a pretty good golfer. So we're hitting balls, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting warmed up. And Melinda goes, oh, my God. Mike, Mike just fell into the, into the marsh. And I go running out and I pull this guy out half in the bag like he always is. And I saved the guy's life. And I'm going to call that card in and I'm going to say, all I want you guys to do, because you hate me, I want you to have a meeting with your lawnsman, Bernard McGurk, at a gin mill in Bayside, right on Bell Boulevard. I'm in. Ooh. We'll resolve our differences for now. We'll go to war wait, wait, afterwards. So, so but be, we have to stop Caban. Be clear. Who was this guy, Mike, that you're talking about, that was, that, whose life you saved? Uh, you? Reich. Uh, this guy is is the controller of the Crowley, Crooked Crowley, Irish Mafia machine. Okay, so I have to have a sit down with this dude. Hey, right, so, so break uh, it down again very simply. Sid's got to do what? Curtis has Sid, to do what? Bernie has to do what? You got to bring the dysfunctional Republican County machine to the table. Got him. Just Queens, not Brooklyn? Just Queens. All right. Bernard, you have to bring the old Joe Crowley Irish Mafia to the table because they have the most weight. Those are my people. And I'll bring the rebels, the Republican <laughs> faction. Up the rebels. You okay. Know that. Yes, IRA, that's right. From Northern Queens. We'll put aside our differences and we'll say LASAK. We got to all get behind LASAK. He's the only guy that can stop the AOC all out crazies. And I'll be more than happy to sit down and put my humongous ego aside. I won't mm. take my beret off. I understand. And we'll resolve this. Now, but listen, we've already... I've got a friend in Brian Sullivan who came to me about Greg Lasak six weeks ago. Two weeks after that, unbeknownst to Bernie, he had a friend that came to him Bob about the same guy. So, And we put him on. And we gave Greg an opportunity to... to um, to gain an audience. I listen, but you schmucks, you putzes, you couldn't even pronounce the guy's name. LASIK or LASIK? LASIK. You LASIK. remember that. You yeah. couldn't even yeah. pronounce it. Yeah. But you yeah. just said LASIK yourself. Because everybody says LASIK. Well, uh, don't call us putzes. He should just go with LASIK because that's but what everybody I know. Do, do you think he lost because Bernie and I mispronounced no. his name? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I mean, no, did no. You, when you listen to the conversation with Greg and me and Bernard, did, and we love this guy. We love him. Oh, but he's right out of Central Cast. Love him. But did you, when you listen, if you didn't know him, and you listen to the conversation, do you think he afforded himself well? Absolutely. You do. He basically said, this is not a public defender's office, because all of the Democrats were acting as if it's the public defender's office. He says, this is the prosecutor's office. The guy was a judge. The guy headed the murder unit. When right. Pappy Mason and all the crazies in Southeast Queens yes. were shooting up the, the 40s Wendy's, project. The Wendy's and all right, that. the right. Wendy's massacre. No, he's, he's the real deal. He's qualified. This guy knows how to prosecute. The rest of them, they don't want to prosecute anybody. Do you know that Caban, <laughs> who might end up being the DA, yeah. 
wants to close Rikers Island. Okay, that's an argument. But she doesn't want another jail in Queens. She has no intention on prosecuting yeah. anyway. She tells you, welfare fraud, we're not prosecuting you. She, sex workers, pimps, sex traffickers, I know. All the we're thug, not prosecuting Thugs and perverts, all free. Also, she wants to arrest ICE agents yes. in the courthouse. Yes. Now, Bernie, Sid, we must stop this menace. This is serious. Well, what, what if we do all this, right? We, 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 Bernie gets to Bayside. Which is never going to happen. Um, I get all yes, these Queens so, people you're together. Irish. They're all I'm Irish in, right. yeah. so, so we do all these things you want us to do, which we're all too willing to do. We're very enthusiastic. What if he still loses? No, it's going to be a, a hard time, time fight. Time to move. <laughs> it's going to be a hard fight. Can't you allow see, this. We have to show that you're not going to roll over for AOC right. like the Democrats have. They've right. rolled over for her. Right. She's the queen of their party. And the Republicans are so dysfunctional in New York, fighting one another all the time. They have to say, look, our gig is up. We know we don't run anybody for office because we just want probate and surrogacy. In Staten Island, right? McMahon was running for re-election DA. You know, the Republicans didn't even run someone against no, I know them. That. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> Staten Island, the only Republican borough, because they made a deal with yeah. McMahon. You scratch our bellies, we scratch yours. Meanwhile, That's a disgrazia, a shanda. The city is sliding back to the 1970s because of all this dysfunction. How do we get which... Valdez in on this. Oh, well, as you know, he's the guy that I promoted I his candidacy. I know. He came up with AOC, All Out Crazy. All Out Crazy, great. That's his line. And he's been going into the district, AOC's district, yeah. in the Bronx and in Queens. She's never there. Never. Never. He can beat her. He's got to go through a primary first to the Republicans, which is good. The more people in a primary, the more attention. Let all the Republicans have their say. Hopefully Rich wins. He's Puerto Rican. He speaks Spanish better than AOC. She she can't play the race card. No. Cannot play. And he's a millennial. And you know he's good with social networking because he works on the Mark Levin show. Right, right. Let's do it, guys. We can take out AOC. Up the rebels. Up the rebels. Caban, we're coming for you. You, 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 you. uh, I can't. You can't call them names because uh, (laughs) you just can't. Not in this day and age. No. Anyway. She is a bad person. She's going to free the thugs and perverts, and we got to stop her. And she will to. protect MS-13. That's right. And look to arrest Curtis the Lee ICE Lee. agents. You are the best. I swear to she God. She has a Met fan, though. <laughs> really? I'm not going to Bayside. You know who's going tomorrow? Who? Oh. For the 69th anniversary of the Mets? Who? Oh. Yes. The number one Met hater of all time. Yours truly, you Curtis, Curtis Lee. Lee. I will be down on the field. Why? I will be with your boys, the Will Ponzi's. And I'll say, how's Bernie Madoff doing in jail, huh? I'll say, hey, Art Shamsky, Hebrew Hammer. I know your boy Sid. And Cranepool, if that kidney doesn't work out, you ain't getting mine. But but you're couching it in those terms. I would say you're you're being a traitor to the Yankees for showing up. Yeah, but they're in London. Yeah. They're in London. Yeah, yeah, but you're still selling them out. That's when you should be sticking they up for They don't know anything that, about that's baseball That's sneaking off to, to, to City Field. Hey, Curtis, you're great on the Bernie and Sid we show on 77 WABC. Go, We're coming right back. Bernie and Sid in the morning. Talk radio. 77 WABC broadcast. Ben, we're always talking to when the left is unhinged. Ben Shapiro. Let me suggest that you have now been completely taken over by Trump Trump derangement syndrome. Now, weekdays at 3, 77 WABC.